YouTube, Milma here with another Xcode tutorial. Um, this is a follow-on tutorial from my WebView tutorials, and if you haven't seen any of them, then the first one can be found here. Um, this tutorial is going to be working on making a search bar that will search the internet and allow the user to type in any URL they want and it will go to that URL. So he, you can see what we made last time with an added search bar at the top, and I'll just show you how that works. You can go www. I know youtube.com, no, no, enter, and uh, there you go, you see YouTube's loaded, and you can see the back button works, The you, go, you can go forward still, you can, uh, if my internet works, <laughs> trust me this does work, it's just my internet's playing up at the moment, you can still refresh, um, yeah I can search another URL if you want, I don't know, bing.com, and you can see it goes to Bing. So uh, we can do all sorts of stuff with this. So uh, without further ado, let's uh, open up the WebView project we've been working on. Um, and we need one outlet and one action for this. The outlet for the text field and the action to search. So go into the .h and go IB outlet. Nope. IB outlet, UI web, no, UI text field star I know search bar and then we need to make sure we do the delegate for that so go next to the view controller here and go space open carrot UI text field delegate close carrot and then the action is going to be just like this action but instead it's going to be called something different so copy that paste that and we're going to call it search uh, now that's it for the .h, so if you copy this action here, go into the .m, paste that action in, replace the semicolon with two curly brackets, and now for the code. Now this code is a very long section of code, so I have written it down, so uh, bear with me if I stop and start all the time. So first of all we're going to create the query, which is what the user is going to type in as their website address. So we're going to go create an ns string. And we're going to call that query space equals space open square bracket search bar dot text space string by replacing occurrence a string and that should auto uh, complete. Then in here we're going to go at open quotation marks space close quotation marks and then here we're going to go at open quotation marks plus close quotation marks open the square bracket and semicolon so that's going to be what the user is going to type in for their um, for their URL now we need to convert that into a URL so we're going to go create an NS URL nope. NS URL star URL uh, space equals space open square brackets NS URL URL with string, open square brackets, NSS, NS string, string, wait, NS string, oh my god, I'm not doing very well today, NS string, string with format, at open quotation marks, and then it's going to be HTTP colon forward slash forward slash percent at close quotation marks, comma, and that's going to be our query. Uh, close both semi, uh, close both square brackets and put a semicolon. So you need to make sure you have this HTTP because all website addresses start with that. So without this HTTP, then it will screw up and it won't load the web view. Uh, so that's basically converting what they type in here into a URL. Now we didn't. Now we need to load the request. So it's going to be ns url request. I'm going to star that request. Space equals space. Open square bracket ns url request. Yep. Request with url, and that's going to be the url we just created here. Last thing to do is to load it in our web view, and that's easy as it as I've just said it open square bracket web view load request 
request, wait, request, and that will be the request we just made here. Um, so that's all we need to do for the .m and .h, so save them and go over to our view controller. Now in here we need to add another toolbar to display our text field and make sure you resize the web view so the website page doesn't go above the toolbar. Then delete the item and go back into the library and search for a text field. Drag that out there and um, also search for two flexible spacebar buttons and to make it look a bit more even. And then stretch that out a bit and then double click, go into the attributes and I don't know, add a placeholder just so the user knows it's a website search thing. Change the keyboard to URL, change the return key to go and uh, go into the files owner, go to the connections, connect search bar to search bar, search to the search bar and then select did end on exit. Now what did end on exit means is that as soon as the user gets rid of the keyboard in any way, shape or form by pressing enter, tapping the back screen, whatever, it will do the action search, which is what we just made in uh, the Xcode. So save that. Uh, and now we can build and run. So here we go, here's our web, web view uh, loaded here. We can see our search bars here. So if we go in there and type in youtube.com, hit enter, and as you can see, YouTube has loaded. Now we can refresh click the refresh button and it refreshes like you just saw. Uh, we can go back uh, and we can go forward again back to YouTube. We can click home, it will go back to Google for us. Uh, as I showed you at the start you can type in another URL so I'll just go bing.com and as you notice here I don't have to type in www. just like you don't have to in Safari uh, but you can if you want. And there you go, bing's loaded, I can go back, forward, home, refresh all this still works, but now we have a usable search bar. So I hope that helped guys. Uh, in my next tutorial, I'll be showing you how to create a search bar just for Google. So it will search Google, just like there is in Safari. Um, and that can be found, as usual, on one of my links here. Um, so any other tutorials you want me to do, please post them in the comment section. And don't forget to rate and subscribe. See you in my next tutorial.